Hi there and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at how to embed a Padlet wall. First thing you do is you go into this arrow on the right of the wall and click on it. So let's do that now and then we get the following options. We're going to choose embed in your blog or a website over here. So let's do that now. Click on it. And here it comes. Embed. We copy the code. Now there are a few embed codes. Notice this is one. There's also an embed preview. You don't want that. You want the copy embed code. Let's copy it and go into our course. So I copied it. You can see that. And now we're going to go into the course. Here we are in the course, but we have to make sure that we have Tiny MCE in this case so we can see tools. Otherwise, if you're using Auto or another editor, you may see something else. But in any editor, you will always find the embed code where you can paste it. We're going to go into tools. In this case, this is Tiny MCE on a Moodle platform in a course and then open that up and we get the following we get a pop-up of source code we click on the source code and then we simply paste it in the highlighted area and then don't forget to save what it won't appear but as i said before you need to see the editor if you have problems seeing the editor please let me know and i'll be able to help you with that because that's a requirement and notice there is the padlet and then you save it post a form and that's it. Again, if you have any questions about embedding anything, just let me know. It's really important to embed in courses, especially on Moodle, LMS, and other LMSs, because it allows students to view it directly from the message area. And they don't have to go out of your course and come back, because they may just not come back, because they don't know how. So feel free to ask, ask, and I'll be happy to help. Have a great day and enjoy Padlet. It's an amazing curation wall, or if you want to call it a board, a curation board. Thank you.